Bank 200 people are expected to be without power this evening after powerful winds swept through Sullivan County early Monday morning. That's according to Wind Energy. Sheriff Clark Cottom says, though, no injuries have been reported. The National Weather Service is reporting straight line wind damage with gusts up to 100 miles an hour, but no tornado confirmed. Zeke Torres has been following this story most of the day. He joins us now with more. After Sunday night storms, many woke up with no utilities or even suffered extensive damage to their homes. Here in Gill Township, the winds were so powerful it knocked over this row of power lines. A severe storm hitting parts of Sullivan County, leaving residents to deal with the destruction. It seemed like straight line winds and uh, woke up this morning to the, to the aftermath. Winds blowing at intense speeds. It got quiet and then I heard like a, to me it sounded like a car without a muffler and someone had their foot down on it hard. The devastation evident. Power lines toppled over, houses and barns destroyed. This Dodge Ram truck... Now a complete loss after being blown upside down. Tony Wiedekamp was in his basement as the storms went through the area. His home survived, but his father's shop suffering extensive damage. Anytime you get in a situation like this and, you know, nobody gets hurt, that's always a good thing and uh, feel pretty fortunate for, for that. Wind Energy is reporting nearly 600 customers were without power at one time. Crews are continuing to safely navigate through the rubble. This has been the scene of multiple properties across Gill Township, twisted steel and debris across many yards. But for others, the damage comes with an emotional toll. This windmill has been a family heirloom for Sherry Smith and her family. Before the storms, it stood in this yard prominently for nearly 80 years. It's irreplaceable. The buildings can be replaced. Thankful everyone. I'm all right. Dogs are all right. All my neighbors are all right. Schmidt's property now resembles her neighbors, crushed. Her shed and barn both missing material and a piece of wood is sticking out of her roof. As a lifelong resident, she says this storm was one of a kind. I've had high winds before rip a uh, roof off of the pole barn before, but not this bad. Energy companies are reminding the public that if you do see a down power line, you are asked to treat it as if it were active. More information is available on our website, mywabashvalley.com. Reporting in Sullivan County, I'm Zeke Torres.